Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Recon here. We have your weekly update video for you guys. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's free and smash that like button too. Really appreciate that as well. Uh, before we get into today's video, two things. Uh, Anniversary is coming up. Just a reminder. Uh, in a couple weeks. Yeah. July 8th it'll start. If you'd like me to do your capsule pulls on stream, let me know. Love to do it for you. Uh, also, we'll be doing on that Thursday at Server Reset. After we're finished with caps, I'll be giving away a VIP 9 account, so stop by for that. You have to be present to win. It will be on Twitch. Link to my Twitch is in the description down below. Uh, and lastly, uh, everyone keeps asking me about a new tier list. Uh, I've told some people this already, but letting everybody else know right now. The new tier list will happen and be done after anniversary, and the girls have been tested for anniversary. I've already been formulating uh, where girls need to be. I just need the anniversary girls, and then we'll, as soon as we get it all nice and fancy, we'll send it out to you guys, all right? Okay, so we have a new Raphael skin. Uh, I know they've been making a lot of these uh, kind of small character skins in the game. People kind of like, why are they doing this? I think in June it was like International uh, Children's Day or whatever someone mentioned. Uh, whenever these got leaked in the game or whatever. I think Sal said that. So maybe it's a correlation between International Child's Day kind of thing. They're trying to support that. But I don't know for sure. Alright. Event times is going to be from the 25th to July 1st. So that's going to be 24th to the 31st for me. June's... No, June is only 30 days, so it'll be 30th for me. And the daily rewards are going to be one high stakes slot tickets, 100 ele elemental orbs, and one precision mallet. Yes, that event is back, ladies and gentlemen. All right, first up, we have Adler's Valera. Uh, of course, if you're getting the 3600, uh, you can get the class box or the echoes. Uh, if you have elementium saved up for elemental orbs, I would go ahead and uh, Echoes is not really that important, so I wouldn't really go for it. Uh, just keep saving at that point. Raphael is pretty easy to get. You don't need to get it there. Leech badge is trash. We got some nice skins. That is the Sky one, I think. What I forgot what it's called. This is NGIF skin. The Jonah skin. I love that Jonah. I want to get more Jonah skins, but you shouldn't be really going for skins here. Uh, unless, of course, you really want them and you collect them, that's fine. That's up to you. But your main aim is to get the class boxes or the, the uh, antique every every week, every month, I should say, with this. But the uh, it's not really worth it. And class sets, mm, I mean, I guess you really need it. But usually you're just saving for that uh, antique. The rest of them are all skip. I know they got a sky here, but that's tempting. But no, everything's skip. And skip, skip everything except for enrolls and capsules. Whenever you save, if you're not using your elementium to get an, an antique out of this event, which is what usually everybody does, you're just grabbing enrolls or capsules. So whichever one you're lacking for anniversary, just go ahead and grab whichever one. Just do that. And of course, elementium to elemental orbs is a one for one swap, and you get your elementium from monthly events. Just if you're new, if you don't know where to get it, yeah, you go into your uh, what's it called? You go into your events tab, and it'll say regular events. Or no, sorry, exclusive events, and then I'll say monthly events. You click on monthly events, and that's where you get them from. All right, next up we have slot points. This is just uh, slots. It does not count high-stakes slots, but it gives you high-stakes slots, which is nice. So you can use those to get girls uh, there. But slots this week, NJF is the food girl, which is nice. And it's five rounds, so you need 1,600 slot tickets to finish it. And I think we only get 20 precision mallets this time. So that's uh, just a little extra if you do slots. Don't... Uh, it's called Sweet Melody. It's not a very good event. RNG is really bad on it. So um, don't expect to get crazy luck with it. Some people do, but it's usually really bad. But if you do slots, it's just free stuff, essentially. So Next up, we have Lucky Bonus. All right. Uh, this is probably one of the best things in the game to buy if you can finish it, which is nice. It used to be you had to do all five rounds of slots, but they changed it up, and it's still the same, which is nice for everybody. But the rewards are going to be... You purchase this, you get this, you get these rewards purchased. Plus, you unlock the second part, which gives you 10, 40, 60, 70, plus 30. It's 105 capsules in total for $30. That's a pretty good price. Plus, you get some lunch boxes, gold, you get lucky charms. You also get precision mallets, which, which will be nice. You can use in Sweet Melody. 
If the event's really bad, it's still like a nice little extra thing there. But the mostly main thing here is the capsules, which is really great. Now, to get this done, we need to do... You need to draw... Uh, you get one ace for each 50 slot machine draws. So... Thousand slots, two thousand. Hmm. No, one for fifty. It's twenty. Yeah. So I think a thousand slots you need to pull. That's still better than six hundred though. And then of course you need one. You need ten super slot tickets. Uh, twenty five hundred gems consumed. You gotta do like fifty junior varsity battles. I know that's a pain right there, but hey. And then you need one a six star girl that you can attain. So. If you're able to do all of these, I would say all of them. You can go ahead and in your light spinner, you can get this lucky bonus for $30. It's a really good deal. But I would only do it if you could do all of them. If not, they'll probably bring it back because I, I've said it and a lot of people, we've kind of all agreed on it. This is actually one of the better things that they've made to be able to purchase. And if, I've asked them to keep doing this and I'm sure other people have too. So I'm glad they keep bringing it back every, every so month that we've had it, which is great. So... Just skip till next month to get it, essentially. But it's really help build those capsules and other stuff as well. All right, next we have Saint Melody. Uh, this event. I mean, it's nice we got a Pate and Vivian in here. That might try to entice some people, but it's still RNG based. So essentially, this is how it works, ladies and gentlemen. You click on this precision mallet, and it goes around this little keyboard. There's nine keys, right? It's random. Usually, you get the you get the the golden note. <laughs> First shot. Oh, all right. You, when you hit the golden note, it'll do these 10 rewards up here. It'll, it'll cycle through these and it'll randomly pick one. So, you usually, on average, you get it like between the 7th and 9th precision amount you use is whenever you hit the golden note for most people. Now, some people, like one time we did it on stream for me, we had like 40, maybe 45 precision mounts. We had an average of like every five we had a golden note, which was insane. So, don't expect to just get the golden note on your first try here. It's going to take you some work to get to it. And even then, you might not get a reward you want up here. So it's just completely just random, 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 essentially. But if you get lucky, like you hit up the first one and you get Vivian or Apate on your first go, hey, good for you. Or the 15 ruins. Like the ruins here is actually really good too. So if you're getting, like, if you hit the ruins, you're like, oh, I don't want ruins, I want Apate copy. Runs, it's still pretty good. I mean, it's not as good, but that's pretty good. So, just saying. All right, and of course they explain it here how it works. And if you hit, if you do all of these, which holy cow, wow, right? And you get all ten of them. The next one you get will just give you keep giving you a selection box. So, just so you know on that. Uh, and if you just use your precision mounts, you don't get to keep them. It won't recycle. It'll turn it into a hundred cage coins at the end of each event. So. You know that kind of sucks, but you can't you can't hoard them, and you only get them from the events and the precision mounts from events and buying them in packs. It does not and does not drop an idle loot at all. Just so you know. All right, next up we have close call crystal ball crisis. This is a little story side event. We do this every now and then in the game. They do it. Uh, the rewards aren't really anything. It's just a little story to tell for you, and you just get I guess pick uh, the way through the story. Essentially, they've lost items, and you pick the items that they give to the people. It's kind of like lost and found, I guess. Unlock new chapters, events, story by finding the owners. Of yeah, so essentially, you're just finding their lost stuff and returning it to them, and you just get little rewards, like stuff to increase your intimacy in the dorms. Uh, we get some gift boxes for dating the girls. 300 gems, which is nice. And, of course, the last one is uh, the Ithil skin. Nothing crazy there, but... uh. Just a little side event to tell you how things go off, what are, go on in the game. Monthly kickoff. <sighs> well, mm. uh, these. I hate this. I'm not gonna lie, I hate this stuff. Uh, it's horrible. They've always had bad rewards. The only thing I could say here is that. The only reason you're getting this is, is to stay relevant in PvP, and that's like getting the exclusive thing here, the fifty dollars, and I guess trying to up your servant right here at the hundred dollars. That's the only reason I see that anybody's doing this. It, it, otherwise, these these 
things to buy are just not worth it. Like elite badges, it's a joke. You know, uh, you're better off using this money if you're gonna spend it here. If unless you're just a whale, but if you're not, you're better off buying uh, during capsule or lovely week events because it gives you way more progression for your account than buying any of this stuff right here. I'm not gonna lie. All right, next up, value packs. Uh, it seems every time in slots when you're the stuff that they opt to buy is just like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So we get like 10,000 gems, 600 elemental orbs, 10 enrolls, seven precision mounts, and 150 slots. That's five things for hundred dollars. That's actually a lot of good value because the but seven you can at least get one reward. You should slots to finish that, which you can get with lucky bonus, which helps with that. Elemental orbs to try and get class sets or echoes. Second yard, woo! I used to be really worse, guys, the moment when I would do these. I would, like, go on every two seconds. It's just because I talk a lot. I don't know why. It just, this is what it is. But, and rolls, too, to help build in rolls. Plus the 10,000 gems. Uh, this is not a bad week to buy stuff, but the the events are just not great with the progression as much unless you're trying to do uh, lucky bonus, essentially. So, the rest of them are just the same. Just goes down. Uh, special gift packs, uh, 210 slots, 30 ru ruins, and precision mounts. I'm not really a fan of this because the precision mounts at 6 doesn't guarantee you a chance at spinning on the rewards. Of course, technically, with logging in every day, you get a free one. So, yes, you get there eventually, but I'm just not a fan of that. And then, of course, we have our $5 one. Oh, it's a limit of 2 this week, which is great. So, this is good. Let's see what our bottom one is. Hmm. I think I like the bottom one better because it gives you Elementium and a Precision Mallet. Uh, I know the other one gives slots, but I kind of like the idea of saving up the Elementium uh, just to help out getting that Antique in the future because that's important. Uh, the special skin pack is not very enticing this week. I mean, the skin is okay, plus it's Elementium. I wish it would have given us like capsule instead of precision mounts. It's only four or two. That's not a very good skin pack. I'm not gonna lie. We've seen a lot better than that. But, yeah. But if you're a light spender, uh, kind of medium spender, get try and do lucky bonus and then just do your $5 ones here as always. It's We have monthly... I kind of get more enthusiastic about talking to someone about the packs, but the only ones really, really good to hear this week are the $5 and the lucky bonus. Like, monthly's trash. I mean, yeah. Week's kind of just, you know, a little normal. It's kind of like more of like an idle progression week, you know, unlike some of the weeks where you have events to do on the first day and the, you do it throughout the coming of the week, but it's all right. Next week we have lovelies, so that'll be fun. Oh, stream is going to be on Saturday. Uh... One hour before server, we're going to be, do, be doing more PvE testing. So stop by for that. It'll be fun. And the keyword today is going to be we'll do Raphael because she's the girl. We're just going to do her, make it simple. So that's it. That's all I got for you today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for stopping by as always. And stay safe out there. It's a crazy world. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.